In this video, I'm going to be discussing alignment modes 3 and 4 in sports photo automation. Both modes 3 and 4 will align the top and the bottom of the transparency to the red lines. And just like in mode 2, in modes 3 and 4, you can scale so the bottom of the um, alignment mark is off the bottom of the template. So you can put the feet off the template and it's still going to find that. So the difference is in modes three and four is the um, left and right or the horizontal alignment. So here is mode three and then here is mode four on the same image. And if you look, these look very similar. Um, with this particular image, the placement is similar. But the differences are that in mode three, it aligns horizontal to the center of the face. Now it's, or to the center of the head that is, um, but it's not um, using the vertical alignment for the head, which will be apparent in the next image we lo look at. It's only the horizontal alignment that's aligning to the head. And in mode four, the horizontal alignment is based on the edges of the image. So mode four does not use face alignment for anything at all. Mode three uses face or head alignment. I keep calling it face, but it's actually head alignment. It uses head alignment for the left and right only. And so if we look at mode four here, if we measure the, um, the gap here from the edge of the player to the edge of this alignment mark, you'll see that on the left and the right side, the gap is exactly the same because it's aligning the edges of the player. Whereas again, in mode three, if we measure that gap. We'll have more gap on the left side here than on the right because it's aligning the center of the head. Now, if I look at a different image, this is going to be even a little more obvious here. So on this image, we're going to look at, um, we're looking at mode three here. And again, mode three aligns the center left and right to the head. And again, it's lining the top of the transparency to the bottom of the transparency. So since there's no feet in this image, the bottom of the transparency is where the um, image gets scaled to for the bottom alignment marks. But you notice that on the top of the image, if you zoom in here, there's some, you can see the hair up on top of the image. It's lining the top of the transparency there to the red line. So this is useful for cases where you have some sp specific graphics and you don't ever want the top of the hair to go above those graphics or the top of a hat or whatever. You can use mode three to still align the um, left and right to the head, but ensure that the top never goes past a certain point. Now you'll notice that um, this is no longer even close to being aligned, centered for the whole player as a whole, because you can see we have this big overlap on the left side with the racket, and on the right side, there's no overlap. It's actually inside this um, red line here. Now if we look at mode four on this same image. Now on this image, you see a drastic left and right shift between modes three and four. And again, mode four is not doing any alignment at all to the face. It's only aligning to the top and the bottom of the transparency. And then it's centering the image as a whole to these alignment marks. Now these left and right alignment marks are not constraints. That's why I left them open. They're not a closed box. It's not forcing the image left and right to be within it, these marks, because if it did that, then it could no longer scale this particular image all the way up to meet the top and the bottom because of the aspect ratio. So with, with alignment mode four, this is the edge alignment mode, and it's only lining up the edges to the top and the bottom of the transparency. It's scaling to that, and then it's centering left and right. And if it hangs over, it's just going to hang over by the same amount on each side here. So if we 
measure the gap here. That gap is going to be equal on both sides here. So the scaling is the same between modes three and four. It's just the left and the right that's different. Now, for modes one through six, the, the player alignment modes one through six, the only one that does not use any face alignment at all is mode four. So if you're doing an image where there's more than one face or, or where they're wearing a mask or something where the face can't be detected, mode four is the only mode that you can use. So here's an example of using mode three with a group of three players. Now when you have more than one face in the image, it's just going to pick one of the faces at random and there's really no way to control which face that picks. So again, how mode three works though, is it scales the top and the bottom of the transparency for the scaling, which it did. You can see the top here is aligned up and the bottom is lined up, but it's aligning horizontally to the face in this player here. It could be because like I say, it just picks one at random. That's really not by my choice. There's just really no way else to program it to be able to strategically pick which face it's going to pick. So for a group image like this, you'll want to use mode four. And mode four, again, scales vertically the same, so the top of the transparency to the bottom of the transparency here. But then it centers the image, and again, it can hang off past the edge. That's not a constraint. These alignment marks here, I just kind of tried to make something that was easy to know what it meant, and then and these alignment marks mean it's going to center the way I made this open box, I guess. I really didn't know exactly what kind of mark to make to make it intuitively apparent what it's going to do, but this um, is what it's doing now. So you can see the overlap here is exactly the same as the overlap spacing on this side. So mode four is the mode you use when there's, like I say, a mask over the player's face or a helmet where you can't see the face or if you've got more than one face you can use mode four and that's going to align left and right for the image as a whole and scale to the top and the bottom of the transparency. I know I repeated myself several times in this video but I just wanted to make sure it kind of stuck as far as what these modes do. Um, be sure to watch the other videos for the rest of the modes because they all do something a little bit differently and depending on your template and the types of images you're shooting or how you're cropping, you may need to use any one of these different modes to get the best results.